This video provides an overview of basic taxway design by the Office of Airports at the Federal Aviation Administration. For information on basic taxway design, refer to Advisory Circular 150-5300-13, Airport Design, for specific design standards. See www.faa.gov. Images in this video are graphical presentations only and are not to scale. Discussion topics include design groups, taxway standards on straight sections, taxway separation standards, and taxway intersection geometry. The FAA uses two distinct design groups for determining taxway design standards, taxway design group or TDG and airplane design group or ADG. TDGs are groupings of aircraft based on undercarriage gear dimensions comprised of the main gear width or MGW and cockpit to main gear or CMG distance. There are six TDGs based on groupings of similar MGW, the x-axis of the graph, and CMG length, the y-axis of the graph. As examples, the 737-900 aircraft falls into TDG-3, while the 777-300 falls into the larger TDG-6 due to its wider MGW and longer CMG dimension. The TDG defines specific design parameters for taxway design. For example, the TDG-3 and TDG-6 design parameters shown here are used for specific taxway design elements for each TDG group, as described in this video. ADGs are groupings of similar sized aircraft based on tail height and aircraft wingspan with each ADG defined by ranges for these two dimensions as shown. As an example, ADG-5 includes aircraft with a tail height between 60 and 66 feet and wingspans between 171 and 214 feet, while ADG-3 includes aircraft with a tail height between 30 and 45 feet and wingspans between 79 and 118 feet. Taxway standards based on TDG include taxway width, taxway edge safety margin or TESM, shoulder width, and fill designed for taxway curves. Taxway standards based on ADG include taxway safety area, object free area or OFA, and separation distance. In general, taxway standards increase in size as TDG and ADG categories increase. Taxiways provide a route for an aircraft taxiing from one part of an airport to another with typical taxiing speeds of 15 to 35 miles per hour. Taxi lanes provide a route for taxiing and maneuvering of aircraft near passenger terminals and aircraft parking stands with typical taxiing speeds not exceeding 15 miles per hour. Because of these lower taxiing speeds, certain taxi lane design standards are less stringent than taxiway standards. For taxiway dimensions on straight taxiway sections, standards based on TDG include the taxiway width and the taxiway shoulder width, while standards based on ADG include the taxiway safety area and taxiway OFA. The taxiway safety area is a defined surface extending beyond the standard taxiway pavement on both sides of the taxiway. The taxiway safety area width is equal to the ADG maximum wingspan dimension. The taxiway safety area surface beyond the pavement supports the occasional passage of aircraft, snow removal equipment, and aircraft rescue and firefighting equipment. The taxiway safety area is kept clear of objects, except for those located in the taxiway safety area because of their function. Taxiway safety areas are also graded to prevent accumulation of standing water. The FAA bases the taxiway OFA for each ADG group on an established wingtip clearance to movable objects such as taxiing aircraft or service vehicles, and to fix objects such as buildings or non-fixed by function NAVA facilities. In the passenger terminal area, the taxi lane OFA provides clearance to parked aircraft, vehicle service roads, and other objects on both sides of the taxi lane. 
taxiway OFA dimensions are based on a lateral deviation distance from the taxiway centerline plus half the ADG wingspan plus a safety buffer to provide wingtip clearance to fixed or movable objects. For example, ADG-5 design parameters include a lateral deviation distance of 14.5 feet, half the ADG wingspan of 107 feet, and a safety buffer of 21 feet. The sum of these three values equals half of the OFA width, or 142.5 feet, with the resulting full taxiway OFA width of 285 feet. For taxiway curves, Additional fill of pavement is necessary on the inside of the curve since aircraft gear tracks to the inside of the taxiway centerline when turning. Because of this additional fill of pavement, the taxiway safety area and taxiway OFA extend further from the taxiway centerline on the inside of the curve to maintain the standard taxiway safety area and taxiway OFA widths. For separation standards between parallel taxiways, the FAA establishes taxiway separation as follows. One of the two aircraft deviates from the taxiway centerline, while the other aircraft remains on the centerline. The taxiway separation distance incorporates the ADG wingspans, a lateral deviation distance, and a safety buffer distance, resulting in adequate wingtip clearance between the two aircraft. This example shows two ADG-5 taxiways with a lateral deviation of 14.5 feet, half the ADG wingspan of 107 feet for both aircraft, and a safety buffer of 21 feet resulting in a taxiway separation distance of 249 feet. In this example, parallel taxiways designed for the same ADG-5 have a separation distance of 249 feet, which ensures adequate wingtip clearance between the two taxing aircraft. For parallel taxiways designed for different ADGs, Calculate the separation distance by adding half of the taxiway OFA of the larger ADG taxiway to the aircraft wingspan for the smaller ADG taxiway. This taxiway separation maintains wingtip clearance between the two aircraft. In the example, half the ADG-5 taxiway OFA, which is 142.5 feet, added to half the ADG-3 wingspan, which is 59 feet, obtains a separation distance of 201.5 feet between an ADG-5 and ADG-3 taxiway. When designing basic taxiway intersection geometry, standard practices for taxiway design limit the number of taxiways intersecting at a single location. This allows for proper placement of airfield markings, signage, and lighting. The three-path concept, previously referred to as the three-node concept, means that a pilot does not have more than three choices at an intersection. Left, right, and forward. Taxiway intersection designs include a range of angles. Optimal intersections are 90 degree intersections that provide pilots with clear markings, signage, and sight lines to safely cross taxiways. Designing for other taxiway intersection angles is acceptable to address an airport's geometric constraints and needs. Design of acute angle intersections should consider fillet requirements, the turn capabilities of the design aircraft, standard markings, lighting, signage, and the pilot's field of view. Base taxiway intersection design on cockpit over centerline steering where the pilot maintains the cockpit over the taxiway centerline while turning. As shown, the aircraft's main gear tracks to the inside of the taxiway turn, therefore requiring additional taxiway fill of pavement on the inside of the curve. These reference materials provide guidance on taxiway design. Visit www.faa.gov to find these documents, videos, and related design tools. For additional information, contact the FAA's Office of Airports. The FAA appreciates your interest. Safe flying!